Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, this is so nuts. I had to just go ahead and hit record. You've probably seen the news that you can make these GPTs. So I'm trying to create one right now that can take the Google guidelines, the helpful content guidelines, which is a public document. It's a PDF that Google has. It's like 176 pages. And I'm trying to take that document and create a GPT that basically help us improve blog content. And it could help you do the same thing. I basically told the GPT that I'm looking to create. This is what I'm looking to do. I said, sounds good. You want to call it content advisor? I said, how about the Google guide? They give me this image. I had already created this image earlier, which I thought was kind of cool. So I said, no, nope, let's use this one if you don't mind. They said, no problem. Okay, you're now up to speed with me. You and I are on the same page. Uh, we're both doing this together now. All right, so PDF. Oh, yep, I can upload the PDF. So that's what I'm going to do next sending the PDF their way to the GPT builder. So let's see what the GPT builder says now. All right, cool. So they said they've looked at it. It's really deep. It's a big, big uh, document. Totally true. Let's consider what it should emphasize or avoid when reviewing content. For example, should it prioritize original research or content depth? Or is there something specific is not part of the content? All right, so I said, I just want to follow the guidelines and as best as possible, ensure that we're giving Google the EEAT experience, expertise, authority, and trust they want. Let's see what the GPT builder says based on this. Cool. So it'll help you prioritize original research, authoritative resources, content depth, avoiding any manipulative SEO practices. Now let's talk about the Google guide. Should interact with the user. Should it be direct and to the point? Yep. Direct and to the point for sure. Casual is good. It's asking me how I want it to speak to us. Casual for sure. I'm all about I'm all about a casual, casual tone there. Would I like to take it for a spin in the playground? Heck yeah. Okay, what well, I didn't do last time, I tried to, um, let me go ahead and save this. I don't want to lose it. Your GPT's name is restricted for public sharing. Got it. That makes sense. Only me. Confirm. Can't use Google as a guide. That makes sense. Let's adjust the name. Can you guys help me with a name real quick? I have to do this live. Get it. That makes sense. So I want to edit. Hmm. I think while I was making this, OpenAI just made some changes. So earlier I was trying to make one of these, and you could go back and you could edit your GPTs, unless I'm missing something. This is like grayed out. So I don't see the ability to edit this GPT. Um, let's go ahead and give it a sample. All right, so I'm gonna take this article. Cool, so it's giving these citations like from the article, it's pretty neat. Overall, the article is well-structured, providing both a detailed listing and service providers. Okay, based on the guidelines, do I need to make changes? Visual and layouts, more images. That's actually a good, that's a good suggestion. Integrate more images of fences installed by these companies if possible. Add a comment section, our way for readers to share their experiences with these companies, boosting trustworthiness. I'm actually talking about turning on comments on our website, this is crazy. Linking to external sources like fencing material guides and DIY tips, um, that's actually, it's a good point. Local expert quotes, incorporate quotes or insights from local fencing experts. Implementing these changes should align your content more closely with EEAT standards, making it more valuable and trustworthy. So let me see if I can think of an example that the article has. Um, let's see. What about my heading and title structure? I just asked about that. So it's kind of given me some general ideas about these things, about balanced use of keywords, engaging sub uh, subheadings, consistency. It doesn't tell me if I'm doing it. Now it does tell me that the title is descriptive and good. Ooh. How did I do on the above items for the article? The article logically flows from a general and detail. However, there's room for improvement in the following areas. Author expertise, user engagement, external links and expert quotes, adding links to articles and sources from local experts. I like it. I like this. Um, I like this feedback. I think it's solid. And let's try one more article. Mm, let's go to this restaurant guide here. 15 unique restaurants you must try. How about 
this article. One thing I need to look at, I need to look at is when I added EEAT while I was creating this GPT, EE, well, that's a lot of, a lot of letters, did by, is that the quality score guidelines? Am I influencing what this GPT is looking for? Even though I uploaded that entire PDF, um, I'll tell you what I can do. While it's visiting my website, let's try to bring in the document here. And uh, let's see if we can search for, okay. So right, I was gonna search the document for EEAT, but right there I see that it's, it's a part of it. Hey, looks like they do it with some dashes, dash T. Okay, that's one. Oh, okay. It's mentioned a lot in this article. 126, ton, 120, 126 times. So that being said, that's perfectly fine that it's a part of what we're, uh, a, that's a part of what we're searching here. All right, back to the show. So this article showcases a variety of dining options. Regarding the heading and title structure, the title is catchy and relevant. Headings, each restaurant is giving a dedicated section with a clear heading, making the article easy to navigate. However, consider the following enhancements to align better. Consistency in descriptions. Ensure each restaurant description is consistently structured, providing key information like cuisine type, special offerings, and location. That actually makes sense for readability. Like, yeah, it would make an article flow better, right? Use subheadings to highlight unique aspect of each restaurant, like award-winning cuisine or family-friendly atmosphere. I like that. Incorporate keywords strategically include keywords related to dining in Mobile, Alabama for better SEO performance. Um, what keywords am I not including that I should? Now, this may be outside the scope of this GPT we're about to find out. I guess Bing's gonna tell me. Now, I'm making this in real time, and what I wanted to do is share this GPT with others. But because I put the name Google in it, I think it's not allowing me to share it. But what I need to see is, is it going to allow me to share other ones? Or if I recreate this GPT, can I then share it if I don't put the, put the word Google in it? Uh, it's possible. We're going we're gonna to find out shortly. Oh my gosh, just search. What search did you do? Like Bing search? SEO keywords for restaurant articles. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. So I have phrases like Mobile Alabama Restaurant, Dining in Mobile, Best Eatery. So what words am I missing? What words am I missing? Now, a tool like Surfer SEO, we were just paying for that tool, is doing this similar type um, research. We actually just stopped using it just because it's really expensive. And, um, and, I, and I don't know so much if I want to just follow the, follow the clear guidelines of like basically the robot telling me what to do. But it is very interesting to get ideas like this out of it, right? So, all right, some dish keywords, some neighborhood locations, events and occasions, dietary preferences. It's good information. I mean, it's all like, it's all great food for thought, right? Like, again, this is kind of like a junior marketing assistant that can do a lot, that you can guide it through some things. You still have to do the work, right? Like, I mean, I mean, I guess you do, right? Like we already have the article. I can't say like rewrite the article for us and publish it on, on WordPress yet, 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 yet. Can't do that yet. But is this worth what we're doing and where this thing's going? Is it worth it for us to use it? Heck yeah, man. Um, I mean, this is just, it's just like a crazy, crazy rabbit hole that we're going down. So let me know what GPTs you guys are creating. Oh my gosh. Let's have a chat, comment, see ya.